mga kawawmat, in this video, we will identify whether or not an expression is a difference of two squares and we will factor the difference of two squares completely. So first, let us tell whether the following number is a perfect square or not. So, identify muna natin kung itong mga numbers ba na to ay perfect square. Ano nga ba pag sinabing perfect square? Ito yung mga product ng mga number na minultiply mo by itself. Okay, let's start. 25. This is a perfect square because 5 times 5. 75. This is not a perfect square. 81. This is a perfect square because of 9 times 9. 40, this is not a perfect square. 144, this is a perfect square because of 12 times 12. And then 60, this is not a perfect square. 7, 100, because of 10 times 10, it is a perfect square. 64, this is also a perfect square because of 8 times 8. 88, this is not a perfect square. And 121, this is a perfect square because of 11 times 11. Okay, next. Let us try to rewrite each perfect squares in exponential form or notation. So, meron na akong mga perfect squares ngayon. Ngayon, i -re rewrite natin siya into exponential form. Paano ba natin siya isusulat ng merong exponent? Okay. So, since 25 is 5 times 5, so we can rewrite this as 5 squared. Okay, kailangan natin to para sa difference of 2 squared. So, dapat alam natin kung ano ang square root niya. So, the square root of 25 is 5. That's why it's 5 squared. Next, since this is 9 times 9, the square root of 81 is 9, so 9 squared. 144, the square root of 144 is 12, so that is 12 squared. The square root of 100 is 10, so that is 10 squared. 64 is 8 times 8, so 8 squared. 121 is 11 times 11, so that is 11 squared. So we need to know how to rewrite or Ah, uh, hanapin natin kung ano yung square root ng mga perfect squares na to. Kasi kailangan natin siya sa difference of two squares. Okay, what is difference of two squares? If x and y are real numbers, variables, or algebraic expressions, then we will have x squared minus y squared. So the difference of two squares is the product of sum and difference of those terms. Ano nga ba ito? Tatandaan na ang difference of two squares na x squared minus y squared, ito yung sagot o product kapag meron tayong sum and difference. Ano nga ba yun? So, etong x squared minus y squared, Ito ay sagot o product kapag meron tayong x plus y times x minus y. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung isa sum lang siya, yung isa difference. Okay, so ano ba tong x squared? Bakit ito ang product, yung x squared minus y squared? Because x times x is x squared, yan ang magiging first term natin. Y times Y, that is Y squared, yan ang magiging second term natin. Now, bakit difference? Because it is sum and difference. So, positive times negative, that is negative. Kaya dun sa X squared minus Y squared, minus siya. Okay. Now, itong X plus Y at X minus Y, ito yung tinatawag nating factored form. So, since ang gagawin natin ngayon ay magpa-factoring, given ng difference of two squares, ito lang ang kailangan nating tandaan. So, again, para makapag-factor tayo, dapat nasa ayos siya ng x squared minus y squared. Let's have an example. If we have 9x squared minus 100, since 9 is a perfect square and 100, so we can uh, factor this 2. 
So, we will have, let us first rewrite as the difference of two squares. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, ano ang perfect square niyo 9? We have 3, and then x squared, that is x. Ano ang uh, square root ni 100? That is 10. Okay. And then, we will just copy the first and second term. So, our first term, yun ang ilalagay natin dun sa dalawang binomyan. So, since nakuha natin si 3x, yun ang ilalagay natin dun sa sum and difference. And then, 10 for our second term. And then, do not forget the plus and minus. Dapat sum and difference siya. So, we will now have the factored form which is 3x plus 10 times 3x minus 10. Another example, 4x squared minus 81, rewrite as difference of two squares. So, we have, ano ilalagay natin dyan? Ano ang square root ni 4? That is 2x, since meron tayong x squared, so lalagyan natin ng x. And then, ano ang square root ni 81? That is 9. Okay, so we will now copy the first and second term. So, your first term and your second term. So, we now have 2x plus 9 and 2x minus 9. Don't forget the sum and difference. So, we now have the factored form of 2x plus 9 times 2x minus 9. It's so easy. Next, 81m squared minus 4n raised to 4, p raised to 6. So, we will rewrite this, this first as the difference of two squares. So, what is the square root of 81? That is 9. And then, since my m squared tayo, so we will write m. What is the square root of 4? That is 2. Now, bakit siya n raised to 2? Because 2 times 2 is raised to 4. Okay? And then, 3 times 2, that is p raised to 6. That's why it's n raised to 2, p raised to 3. Take note of your exponent. Okay. So, let us now copy the first and second term. Our first term will be 9m. Our second term will be 2n raised to 2, p raised to 3. So, you will just copy. Don't forget the sum and difference. So, our factored form is 9m plus 2n raised to 2, p raised to 3, times 9m minus 2n raised to 2, p raised to 3. It's always the sum and difference. Next, I have here negative 49x raised to 8 plus 25. So, sabi nga natin, dapat naka-difference of two squares muna. But as you can see, ang nakalagay dito ay plus. So, it's not the difference of two squares. So, rewrite muna natin siya as difference of two squares. Therefore, we will have 25 minus 49x raised to 8. Nire-arrange lang natin siya. So, nilipat lang natin si 25 and negative 49. So, we now have the difference of two squares. Take note ha, dapat minus siya bago tayo mag-factor. Okay, so what is the square root of 25? That is 5. The square root of 49 is 7. Now, bakit siya x raised to 4? Because 2 times 4 is 8. So, let's now copy the first and second term. We have, what is our first term? 5. What is our second term? We have 7x raised to 4. So, we now have the factored form of 5 plus 7x raised to 4 times 5 minus 7x raised to 4. Take note of the sum and difference. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our Walmart channel. Just keep on watching!